What's up guys? Tim with Outcast and we're back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing a tool that we just purchased and uh, we purchased it over at Harbor Freight. It's a four and a half inch uh, Bauer. That's their new brand or one of their house brands and it's a uh, 8 amp uh, 11,000 RPM four and a half inch angle grinder with the trigger switch. Um, it's our first time buying one from Harbor Freight. We go through these things like like diapers. I mean, they they take a beating around here. We use the grinder in probably 90% of the work we do when we're doing fabrications. You can see I've got the K5 Blazer here. And uh, so our Milwaukee actually grenaded on us, had too many hours, was overheating. I knew it was about to go, and then uh, one day, sure enough, it basically just cut out. So we ran down a uh, Harbor Freight. I've been wanting to try one of these. Um, it was only like $39.99. I got a pack of the Bauer wheels that go with it. And um, I went ahead and bought the $10 extended warranty. And basically, if anything happens to this for two years, walk into Harbor Freight, give them the tool, and they'll give you a brand new one. Um, if you have the inside track club or whatever with them, then I'm sure that they can look you up by name. But if not... I don't even think you need to save your receipt. Um, it's their product. They know it's their product. Um, it's not sold anywhere else, I don't believe. So that's pretty cool. Let's get right into it and uh, check this thing out. I'm going to get the box open for you. Um, 11,000 RPM, 8 amp. Um, the next one up was, I think, 49 or 59, and all it was was 500 more RPM. It was 11.5, same 8 amp. And the handle was really bulky on it. Um, they had them all on display. So we'll take a look at this one. This one has the uh, trigger switch handle, which I really liked. Um, open it up here. You can see you've got the uh, handle that it comes with. It's got thread on handle. Um, we'll pull the unit out here. Let me set this box down. We'll pull the unit out here. You can see it's got a pretty nice long cord on it, three prong, two prong, sorry, two prong, um, which is good because maybe you don't have a, a three prong. So anyway, here we go. Moving forward, um, it's got the, comes with obviously the plates and everything you need to fasten your grinding wheel or whatever it is that you're going to attach. I like that. It's like it's got a zinc coating or something on it. Pretty nice fish, uh, finish. <laughs> It's got a real substantial weight to it, but it's not too heavy, which tells me that it's not real cheap. You know, it seems to be made pretty good. Um, another thing I like is that it's just a quickie trigger. If you see that, it's a quick trigger. There's no like lever you have to compress first. And then you see the button here, it actually has a trigger lock. And that makes it really nice um, when you're running this and then boom, you press the trigger. And it, bam, there it goes. Um, it'll release it. So then obviously it comes with the tool that tightens the ring here to your grinding wheel or disc. Does come with that. Comes with the guard as well. Let me grab that and show you here. Now, this guard's uh, not the easiest to put on. I mean, it has this quick release latch and everything. There's a little notch inside this ring that it's really hard for you guys to see, but there's a little notch there, and then there's a notch at the back of this top plate where the guard will actually ride. So you gotta drop this on there and line that up with this uh, lever open. Get it on there where you want. Then you gotta kinda rotate this with it all the way seated so that you can get this latch to close actually got to rotate it a little more open it back up loosen it up but see then it's on there tight now so I don't really like this design of this latch I'll be a hundred percent honest because see it's really difficult to move it um, and then in certain positions you can't even open the latch if it's up here on top it's no big deal but if for some reason it, it's to one side or the other it may hit Besides that, it's not bad. You should always run the guard. I know sometimes we take the guards off. I'll probably end up taking my guard off, to be honest, because it's just sometimes too bulky in the way you got to fit up in the tight areas on these older cars or 
fabrication period regardless of what you're doing sometimes the guard is just in the way but it's always a good idea to get used to running the guard and wearing all the proper ppe when you run this now um i've got the blazer here behind me um and in front of that i've got my 51 chevy so we're actually all the way to the front of the shop today i've got a customer who has his uh uh, I believe it is a 70 F100 that we've done an extensive amount of work to. I mean, we've lowered it. We've done a bunch of stuff. Um, it's got an LS swap in it. It's got the rear mounted fuel tank and, a, and all that stuff is already done. I didn't do video sets on it. Um, we're just kind of getting our YouTube uh, back in action here. But we're going to take this out there because uh, his drive shaft is hitting and we're going to have to cut some relief cuts in a connecting bracket that goes from each chassis frame rail to frame rail. It's one of the connecting pieces like a cross member. And we're going to have to see if we can notch that and if it's still going to be strong enough or if we're going to have to weld and uh, reinforce it. But I will at least include you guys in the grinder portion of this video so that you can see if this thing is going to run and how it does. And if we overall, if we like it or not, and if it's worth the money, and then I'll do a follow-up review in probably just a couple weeks, because this thing's about to get a lot of hours ran on it, and we'll see how it performs, and if we've gone back to Harbor Freight 50 times, or if it's, you know, still a good tool. Uh, they had a one-year warranty you could get on this. Um, I think it was like $6.99, or you could do $9.99 for two years. Um, so obviously I just did the two year because I figured, you know, why not? Ten bucks. Um, the cheapest name brand grinders that I could find. There was a couple, I think Ryobi. And then uh, there was a two pack of Bosch, which was a two pack for $100 at our steel supplier. But even with that being said, I still wanted to try it. Um, I don't know. I'm a little sucker for Harbor Freight. I like their stuff. They have bailed me out on on several things so that's basically that one other thing it does come with if you've never used it is the instruction manual and everything that is included in the kit and i'm sure it has operation instructions and it'll even get into probably some of the safety equipment you need to wear i'm not going to go through it because i have a million hours experience on them and i still you know it is what it is so moving forward guys the bauer 11,000 rpm 8 amp Four and a half inch angle grinder. Is it good? Is it not? Feels good. Looks good. Let's go see if it'll perform. Okay, and real quick, before we head out front and start cutting on our F100 um, with our new Bauer grinder, I want to show you these Bauer wheels. Now, this is a review that I can stand behind because I buy these 10 packs of the thin cut cutoff wheels for metal can see it's a pretty thin pretty thin um, and I've used a ton of these and they do work really 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 good they don't wear out that fast they're a lot better than the Hercules or even the green label I'm not sure if those are warrior or something like that um, but I tell you what for a dollar a wheel so it's like $9.99 for a 10 pack you you really can't go wrong um, for the amount of cutting and grinding and stuff that we do, I believe me, I have shopped all the way from very, very high-end catalog, ordered wheels, um, pearl abrasives, um, there's, uh, there's so many and they all wear down just as fast, even faster, or even break apart. These have never shattered on me. It might break a chunk off, it might do that, but I've never had one where it like just disintegrates like I have with some of the other brands. So um, just a real quick double review, you're kind of getting a bonus on this video. This 10 pack of blades right here is worth the money. So go ahead and get you some of these and try them out. I get it, you know, it is a little sketchy. I wear a, a face shield and safety glasses, gloves, whatever it takes when I'm running these, and uh, I've had really good luck with them. So as long as you're wearing all your PPE and everything and you're not forcing your grinder, I may even be able to show you in the video out there, there's definitely a direction that you want to run your grinder depending on which direction you're cutting, and it'll make your life a lot, lot easier. It won't get the bite and the grab that so many people hate to run these four and a half inch grinders. I don't personally like it, 
but a lot of times you can't run a plasma cutter or a torch so you're kind of limited and you do have to run the four and a half inch grinder so with that being said let's get out front and see what all this bower is about okay guys so you can see i got the f100 up in the air i've got jack stands in the jacks in place i'm gonna grab the rest of my ppe the camera and we'll go underneath the truck and I'll show you why the customer brought it in today and what we're gonna have to do with our new Bauer four and a half inch grinder all right guys we're underneath the truck um, obviously and you can see I've got the we did this brand new drive shaft for the guy um, the rear mounted fuel cell you can see part of the uh, new high pressure fuel pump it's a Tech system with an LMC tank um, and we did a bunch of other work but you can see where now that since it's lowered it's hitting on the drive shaft there as it travels up and hits that cross member um, so I'm gonna have to actually notch the cross member so that the drive shaft can travel up into there without completely jeopardizing the cross member support and um, hopefully, um, I know he's not running the emergency brake anymore, so which is a good thing because it's either going to have to be relocated or removed now at this point because of where we need to notch it. So let me get the drive shaft removed and then we can uh, try out our new grinder. I've got it here ready to go and we'll see if uh, it's going to be a good grinder to buy or not. Okay. I've got my PPE on. I'm gonna grab the grinder and uh, I've got the camera angled so hopefully you guys can see it cut. Um, I'm not wearing my shield but I still have the guard on the grinder itself. Um, it's pretty tight under here. I've got the truck jacked up as high as I can but with it being lowered it's still pretty low. So let me grab the grinder and we'll see if it's even gonna run at all. Well, I tell you, it seems to be running pretty good. It feels pretty powerful. Um, I've got to do a little bit of layout here so I can get my cuts and know how far up and everything I'm going to go. But as far as the Bauer grinder, I'm pretty impressed with it. I like the easy trigger mechanism. So uh, let's do some layout. We'll do some more cutting and we'll wrap up this review. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more grinding with our new Bauer, and then we'll wrap this review up. We'll see you guys back inside the shop. guys we threw on some PPE we grabbed our new uh, Bauer four and a half inch angle grinder again that's the 8 amp 11,000 rpm um, it's got the trigger handle I really like that I did notice a couple times when I was running it um, your hand actually will press the trigger lock button in so when you go to let off it's still going 
as soon as you bump the trigger again, it does release that switch and then it obviously it idles down and it'll stop. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. I'm sure as I use it, I'll get more and more used to it. Um, for the price, for uh, the performance, for the weight of it and everything, and just a short review, I, I would go ahead and recommend it at this time. Um, like I said, the wheel that I had on there was also made by Bauer. It's the red label wheel. Let me grab that paper for you just real quick so you can... There you go. And it was $10 for a pack of 10 of these. Um, so yeah, all said and done, I like it. Um, the metal that we're out there actually cutting on with that grinder is pretty substantial. Um, it's got a really awkward angle to it where it's at. So with the way the exhaust wraps around, it is a little difficult. It's probably uh, maybe, maybe 5 sixteenths. It's definitely thicker than uh, eighth inch. So... It was doing the trick for me. I've obviously got some work ahead of myself out front. So all in all, I do recommend this grinder. And please remember, I will do a follow-up video on it in just a couple weeks because I have a lot of grinding and cutting to do with that machine, with this machine. And um, we'll go from there. So I'm Tim with Outcast. You guys, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing a full walk around on this Blazer build and get everybody caught up on it. We've got a 51 Chevy four-door um, that's a, a few months out from from being worked on. We've got a 58 Chevy pickup that's coming in for a frame off type restoration. Um, we're also in the process of building a 6.0 LS for this Blazer build. So it's at the machine shop right now. So if you're interested in any of that type of stuff, stay tuned. I'll definitely be doing some more videos and stuff on that. But until then, guys, hit subscribe and give them a call. See if they've got one in stock if you don't live close to a Harbor Freight. And I know you can go Harbor Freight online and probably find this as well. And uh, go from there, guys. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.